Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pagey here, once again with another video on The Flash Season 3, Supergirl, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, all of it. So over the past day, they released a little like promo or trailer thing for the crossover, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty damn cool, I was very surprised they dropped it, but before we get into anything, let's actually watch it. So as you would have seen there, that was some pretty crazy footage from one of the episodes within the crossover. Now you may be asking, which one? Well, going by the fact that it is in the past, you would have to say it is in the Legends of Tomorrow episode. This short preview clip or trailer was posted to the various social media accounts connected to Legends of Tomorrow. But it doesn't necessarily mean this takes place on Legends of Tomorrow, even though it is very, very likely. Especially, as I said before, saying it takes place in the past, as you can obviously tell. In regards to what year this takes place in, it does look to be in like the 1940s. And I'm only saying that as I'm assuming this may take place during World War II. However, this may occur randomly in some random year and then military forces are sent to whatever area this is to deal with the threat. Now in that short preview clip, you do get an okay look at the villains for the crossover. That being the Dominators, even though it is on like a side angle, like as if the camera's been knocked over or the person holding the camera has died and is laying there holding the camera in that position. You also do see one of their ships up in the air where this Dominator that you do see in particular has most likely just, you know, jumped down from. One of the biggest questions that I know many will be asking is around whether these events caught on film are actual documented history, or whether the Dominators can in fact time travel and go back to, you know, different parts of time, and obviously, to be specific, this point. Honestly, I'm not too sure, but it wouldn't surprise me if what happens is that the crossover team from all the shows think that the Dominators may have fled due to them, you know, impending defeat. Like them feeling that, oh, okay, we're gonna lose, let's bail. But then this stock footage appears in the library within the Wave Rider, and the team realizes that they didn't defeat them, but rather the Dominators have gone back to a time when the age of metahumans was non-existent. In one of the other trailers for the crossover, you do get a quick shot of Nate Haywood, now in his Citizen Steel suit, which he got at the end of last episode of Legends of Tomorrow, alongside Vixen and Heatwave. And they are standing over a, what you think would be, dead body of a Dominator. And in the background, you can see one of the vehicles that we do see in the short clip I played earlier. So this obviously does confirm that they do in fact go back to this time period, but it may just be the Legends of Tomorrow that go back while the others in the crossover team sort out some other problems. Or it could be everyone, or it could also be a mix and match of Legends and maybe some people from Team Flash or Team Arrow, you know what I mean? But you know, who knows, it's gonna be random. All we know is that Citizen Steel is there, Vixen is there, and also Heatwave is there. You never know, it could just be those three that go there. Overall, I thought this was a nice little promo for the crossover. I am expecting one more, maybe over the weekend or maybe in the next two days. Just to give the crossover that like final boost of like hype and promotion. I'm not saying there will be one, I'm just expecting there to be one. So I'm not saying, oh yeah, it's definitely coming out, keep your eyes out for it. But what I'm saying is I am expecting it, so don't be surprised if it does drop. Now one final thing to do before we leave this video, a lot of people have been asking me, do I have to have seen Legends of Tomorrow or Supergirl at all to understand the crossover? Because a lot of people just watch Flash and Arrow, and in some cases, a lot of people just watch Flash, or you know, Supergirl, Supergirl and Flash. Some people don't watch every single show. And the answer to that is no. You don't have to watch the other shows to understand the crossover. The crossover is one single story, 
but in the episodes of Flash, Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow, they're going to have their own stories continuing on from the rest of the season mixed in. So with, I know with Flash and Legends, like the Flash one is going to be the Wally West story. And then Legends of Tomorrow, it's going to be the Martin Stein story, as well as the story about them discovering that voice message from Barry in that secret room within the Wave Rider. In regards to Arrow, I'm not too sure. It might be some new Team Arrow development. Obviously, they are going to like a different reality in the Arrow episode where like Moira, Robert, Laurel and stuff are still alive. But I don't know if they're carrying any storylines from the normal season of Arrow over to that crossover episode. So yeah, you don't have to watch them. Also, a lot of people have been asking me about the Supergirl episode. Honestly, I think they've just chucked it into this Fortnite crossover and uh, advertised it as so to give them more viewership. Even though Supergirl, I think, is just behind Flash on viewership. I think Flash is a couple of hundred thousand people watching ahead each week. So Supergirl isn't struggling for viewership. Like, they're killing it at the moment, in my opinion. But why not chuck it in there to get some viewership for the show? Supergirl's been really good this season, but it's a bit of bait and switch marketing and advertising in regards to this because it's like the last five minutes of the Supergirl episode that has anything to do with the crossover. The rest of the Supergirl episode is just a normal Supergirl episode with no crossover features at all. So just a warning, do watch the Supergirl episode because it does look like it will be a good episode and you do need to catch that last five minutes that connects to the rest of the episodes. But yeah, don't go in thinking the whole episode's crossover and be disappointed. I'm giving you a warning. It's not all crossover. It's just the last five minutes. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed my video. If you did, it'd be very much appreciated if you could leave a like on it. Let me know in the comments section below what did you think of this footage? Do you think it's really cool? I think it's awesome. I, think, I love the Legends of Tomorrow stuff with all the historical stuff. It's really awesome. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.